Assim como, preste atenção, preste bastante atenção. Assim como, Pay attention. Deus, o Espírito do Altíssimo, just as God, the Spirit of the Most High, que nós expects that we listen to His Word, obey and follow His Word, practice His, his Word. He is Spirit. He speaks, He guides. He teaches, exhorts. But we who receive the word, if we don't focus on that inspiration, if we don't practice that inspiration, the word of God is going to be of no use. And so is the devil. The devil is spirit. He speaks. He inspires. By the way, Jesus was in the wilderness for three days. And the devil spoke with him. He even mentioned Psalms 9 to 1. It means he inspires. And if we obey the devil's voice, we are going to be at a disadvantage. But if we don't obey him, we will suffer no hurt. This is what happened to Eve in the Garden of Eden. The devil approached her, inspired her, and told her, you can eat that fruit, because nothing is going to happen to you. It's just because God doesn't want you to know good and evil, etc. It's just that God doesn't want you to be like Him. And Eve led by the devil's words and by her eyes yes or no yes or no with a strong desire of tasting that fruit because satan knew she wanted to taste it that fruit was very attractive So the devil came close to her, spoke, inspired her, and if that already had the desire to taste it, took the fruit and disobeyed God. When she disobeyed God, in simple words, she became a receiver of hell's voice. And the devil had no authority in this world, began to have it through Eve. And obviously she passed it on to Adam and both of them fell into temptation. It means they stopped to listen to God's voice, to obey God's voice, and they obeyed by their own free will the devil's voice. When they obeyed by their own free will the devil's voice, that's it. All the authority and dominion that they had over the earth, because God had given them dominion over the whole earth. They were dominators over the earth. You can check it out in the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. God gave them dominion over the whole earth. But when this person or these people stopped to listen to God's voice, to hear the devil's voice, that's it. They transferred the authority and dominion to Satan. Therefore, mankind grew disorderly and became what it is today. Did you understand? For the voice that you listen to, that voice is the master, the Lord of your life. If I listen to man's voice, I'm man's servant. If I listen to the devil's voice, I'm the devil's servant. But if I listen to God's voice, I'm God's servant. And I learned from the beginning to be God's servant. I don't care if so-and-so won the Nobel Prize of Literature. It doesn't matter 
What really matters to me is here in the Bible. My work, my thoughts are based on what is written here. That's why people's opinions don't matter to me. They never mattered to me. What matters is God's opinion. So what you see nowadays, the Universal Church growing all over the world, it happened because we just obeyed this word. We didn't get any help from anyone. We were not guided by anyone. We made many mistakes many times. But we always heard God's voice or God's words. The pastors of the Universal Church don't base their lives or their faith on anyone's word, but on God's word. And if you are wise, if you are intelligent, if you use your head, if you use your capacity of reasoning, your intelligence, you are going to agree with me that you cannot make your life available to anyone, but to God's words. For instance, I was obeying God's words, but there was a day in my life when I had to make a decision. And that decision was something extremely important to me. Because if it was the, the wrong decision, I would be disgraced. Because I was 30 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And if by chance I made the wrong decision, I would be without a job. And I had two children who needed medical assistance anyway. At that moment, people said to me, my friend, you cannot exchange the certain for the uncertain. Yeah, relatives, friends speak like that. They say, you're not going to exchange the certain for the uncertain. It's better to have a bird in your hand than two flying. It's better to have one bird in your hand than two in the bush. And that's correct. But I could not listen to my colleagues or family members, even to my mother, my lovely mother. I said, my God, this is the moment that I have to make a decision. If what is written here were written by men, by wise men, men inspired by themselves or other people, if what is written here isn't true, I'm going to wreck myself. I don't know what's going to be of my life. But if it's true, if what is written here is true, then I'm going to conquer greatly. One of the two things, it's all or nothing. If you are great, if you are God, if you exist, if you are truly the creator of heaven and earth, then you cannot lie to me. You cannot deceive me. You cannot delude me. You are not a politician. You are God. And I know that your character is in your word. My character is in the word that I give. The character of a person is in the word of that person. If that person honors his or her word, he or she has a good character. Isn't it so? Isn't 
Imagine God's words. Would God fail to fulfill the word he gave us? Would God fail to do what he promised? No, he would never do so. You can trust. Because he will never fail. And that's what happened. From that day on, we made the right decision and everything went right. Thank God. And it's going to continue going right until the coming of Jesus.